They were dead, but we figured out how to bring them back and make them undead. <laughs> we tested all our motors yesterday and we found five that weren't recognized by the brain. We weren't sure what to do next because none of the things we were trying worked. So we called Beck. First step is to plug a dead motor into the brain in port one and have the brain hooked to the computer. See, if we look for it on device info, it's not there. And it's not on VOS either. So you have to right click the brain on the VEX OS system, go to detect device port one and then it should pull up something right here. Now you don't want to click install, because if you do, it's just, it's just going you just to click install. <laughs> it worked though. <laughs> so <laughs> click install. We see okay, so on device info now, it's there and it worked. Another motor, please. So we have another dead one here that's not showing up on the device menu and it's not showing up on Vex OS. So we try to refresh it, it doesn't pop up. So we go to the brain, right click, detect device port one. It popped up yellow, the yellow motor. We uh, go up to the smart motor and then we right click it and click left click fix issue. And it says, are you sure there are no sensors connected to ports 2 and 3? Warning, proceeding with this update could cause devices on these ports to fail. Please contact technical support for assistance. And we don't have anything else plugged into our brain, so we're good. So, so. yes. And then it's downloading the firmware. Ta-da! Victory! Now it shows up as a green motor on OS. And it's in device info now. And it works. <laughs> <laughs> now to bring my mask right back from the dead.